All right, so I just wanted to see how fast I could put together a portfolio using um, Airtable and Pori. So I actually already have an Airtable set up here with my portfolio uh, content. This is all stuff from the from grad school. Um, just got some text and some images, and uh, I can share a link to this later. And then we have Pori here. I've already created an account, so I'll just go ahead and go to my apps. And then um, if this is the first time you're using it, you'd have to set up the connection to Airtable, which would just be in the um, account settings. You basically just go to your Airtable account and then copy over the secret API key and put it in here. And that's basically it in terms of connecting it together. Um, but yeah, I just want to see how fast I can put together this portfolio. So I'm going to go ahead and just start a timer, switch back over and hit create. I'll start from scratch and then I will create a say portfolio. Uh, speed run. All right, perfect. So now we've got a blank section here. I'm going to go ahead and just start writing a section. I'll start with the Airtable listing. Um, so I'm going to pick a template just to start with. And I think just do this image card one. And right now you see there's nothing here because I haven't set up the link. So I'm going to edit this listing and then set up select the air table so it's portfolio and the actual table inside of that is portfolio and i'm also going to change this so it sorts by how it is in my air table so here the first project is equity lens so i want to make sure it sorts by this air table view right here uh, filter settings i want to be able to use filters so in air table i have a column for tags so I want to be able to filter by those tags and then I want it to be so that you can select um, it has to be one of the tags so and um, search settings I don't know if I want to search I'm just going to ignore that one so I'm going to save and continue so here it's already sort of pulled in some of my projects uh, there's no images here though because uh, it looks like it's pulling from a different field so I'll select title, that's fine, subtitle, that's fine. Uh, I don't actually have a call to action button here. And tags will be this tags field. So they show up down here. And then the hero image, I have a separate, um, separate field for that called featured image. All right. And I think th I want these to be like a little, let's make them bigger just for fun. And yeah, that's probably good. Save and continue. Very good. So now I'm in detailed view. Add a block for this. I'm going to add just some basic information about the project. So title, subtitle. Uh, I'm going to skip this image thing for now. I'm just going to want it up here. But I do want to call the action button to view the PDF. So I'll click on my URL. View PDF. Okay. And then to add another section here for the carousel. Um, I'm going to select this image gallery that I have. It has all these images so you can kind of see them you know, in this little slideshow thing. And then I'm also going to add a section for all of the project information. So just a list of all the fields in here so I will select I've already got the title and subtitle so I'm going to go with the um, class the date overview role challenge solution results collaborators tags and yeah I'll just leave those there let's see how they show up here and I actually think the date's not as important so I'm going to move that one down to the bottom put that down here shows up at the bottom now and yeah, I think that's pretty good. I feel like that text is kind of small for this, but yeah, okay, 18, sure, why not? All right, save that. You can kind of see what it's looking like so far. You click on one of these, you can see the project. And click on the view PDF, it'll open up this PDF viewer. Um, one I guess two things that are a little bit different. I have some projects, so this 
Project's Equity Lens Project actually has um, a YouTube video, so I want to make sure that shows up in here. So I'm going to edit this listing. So go to detailed view and I will add a sexual. So if there's a video, I wanted to show up first because it's the most interesting thing. So we'll add this embed, then add the video. There we go. Um, yeah, I'll make it gigantic. 720, that's good. And then also, I have some projects that have external links. So I think it's, oops. this one. So this one doesn't have a PDF, but does have a link to one of the projects. So I want to add another button here. So if you have a external link, I want that button to show up. So I will add this button. And change this so it shows up. External links. This project site. Very good. Okay, we'll save that. Fact editor. Now I can test it out and see that. Click on this one. It has a video shows up, and then click on this other one. It should have this project site button show up. All right, cool. So next thing I want to do is just oh, I want to change this little search and settings thing a little bit. So I'm gonna go to search and filters. Uh, I actually don't want to search. I'm just gonna turn that off. And for filters, I want this to look like a bunch of tags instead. Um, I think it needs a title. I also want to pick one at a time. And I want to kind of change the style a little bit so it's solid. And when it's selected, I want it to be pink. And that should be good. Oops. Um, filters, okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's just publish that for now as like a, just to save that. And then I also want to add like a little information at the top about myself because, you know, I want to know who this, this page belongs to. So I'm going to go in here, add a hero section, and this obviously is not me, so we're going to edit this. Let's change this. Make this a cute color. Okay. Wait, okay, this one should be where they email me. And this should be a picture of me. Okay. Cool. I just want to like add a little bit of padding here. And change the background color. Something more fun. All right, I think that's looking good. Close that. I also want to change the global color, so this blue button. Change the app styles, so I can change the color. Oops. Have this purple magenta color and change the font, so we'll go with Poppins. 
Like that. Very good. Alright. That's pretty good. So now I can test it out. Publish it. And view it. So I gotta set up a URL. Okay. Yep. Now I can view my app. And there it is. Alright, so all the projects are here. Oh, I forgot to change this to say contact me. Let me do that. Um, this button should say contact me. There we go. Pass the right button. Okay, if I click on one of these, it should filter the projects based on the ones I've selected. Very good. All right, and then I can click on one and check out the details about it. All right. I think I'm done. So, about 10 minutes. Not bad.